It is gearing up for WrestleMania week and we are live with wrestling news. So hit the lights, hit the like button and let's dive in because we've got plenty of news to be going on with that you can sink your teeth into. Our top story today will be Roman Reigns running low on dates left on his contract and how that impacts The Rock going forwards. We're going to be talking a lot about what happened in the CM Punk interview with Ariel Hawani, specifically things we've covered here now being confirmed. For example, Punk negotiating with the WWE many, many moons ago, way back in 2018 before his arrival in AEW anyway. Um, I, I, I think I meant 2021 there, guys, bear with me. We're also going to talk a little bit about the Survivor Series debut, the kickoffs, and a Tom Colohue exclusive that no one else got and no one else even knew about until CM Punk confirmed it today. We're going to talk about Bo Dallas and his planned return to the WWE. We're going to talk about Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley, the attack on each other that they are actively taking part in and how real it is. Included in that will be a bit of a talk about Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch and their contract status. Liv Morgan's WrestleMania status is not up for grabs. It ain't happening. That's the word coming out of the WWE at the moment. We're going to talk about what I've heard there. It's going to be a few personal updates, news you're going to quite enjoy. And then we're going to go into WrestleMania match results. To be clear, these are primarily predictions. There are spoilers in there. Be aware of that. I'll try and cover them as best I can, as you know I like to do. But there will be spoilers in that last section for what is going to happen at WrestleMania. So... Strap yourselves in, get yourselves ready, warm yourselves up, because we're going to be going right into a hell of a lot of wrestling news. 41 people here, 13 likes, hit that thumbs up. Let's get this ball rolling. We start with Roman Reigns running low on dates. We have not seen a lot of Roman Reigns this year. That is intentional. The WWE have overused Roman Reigns way beyond the means of his contract in the last two years. And as a result of that, he's now less available than ever. In fact, it's going to be very difficult for the WWE to book Roman for many actual events between WrestleMania and SummerSlam. Don't expect to see much of him that would expect him to pop up for the Raw after WrestleMania, for example. When it comes to Roman Reigns, not only is he low on dates, but that directly impacts other people in the bloodline. For example, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, and of course Solo Sokoa are not going to get the rub of the green when it comes to Roman Reigns not being available to be the leader of the bloodline. The intention was that The Rock would step into the gap. He would lead the bloodline in Roman Reigns' absence and ensure that the bloodline maintain a strong TV presence. There are problems with that. There are some pretty significant problems. First and foremost, The Rock is also expected to be taking a break from the WWE between WrestleMania and SummerSlam, essentially meaning that the bloodline will have to go dark for huge periods between WrestleMania and SummerSlam. This will then allow the WWE to get to the final year of Roman's contract, which will reset the number of dates and give them enough to work with. Yes, I said final year, but there are conversations, of course, naturally about extending that contract. The WWE want to ensure that there's plenty of Roman Reigns in their future. Roman Reigns is being quoted as essentially saying, well, if I'm not the champion, I might as well not be here. That's in character and it's in jest. He will still have storylines after losing the championship, but the prime motivator for Roman Reigns is going to be The Rock. So we need The Rock to be available. We need Roman to be available. I'd expect to see them both in and around SummerSlam time once again when we can see them both in action once more. Plenty more news to come, but I want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who's joined us so far and say hello to everyone who is just joining us now. Plenty of people saying hi. Uh, Juan, Brad, Roger, Joe, WWE fan, Daniel Berry, Cute for Free, Gomar, Leon, Kali, Trekopedia. Nice to see you guys. On the Twitch side, we've got people as well. Spider Boss, Bailey, Michael's here as well. Welcome everyone, lovely to see so many familiar faces. We've got plenty of news still to come, and of course I'll keep up with the chat as we go. If you can, please do remember to pop onto Twitter and share the announcement tweet for this show that does help fill the show up, get more likes, more viewers, more chat rate, and before you know it, we be growing. 
Khalid says, I'm so hyped for your WrestleMania watch along. I'll be there, mate. We will be doing spoiler warning on Friday, SmackDown watch party on Friday, WrestleMania night one on Saturday, WrestleMania night two on Sunday, spoiler warning on Monday, Raw watch party on Monday. That's not even counting the Hall of Fame, which I would expect that we're going to be doing with the SmackDown watch party. So be there. Check it out. Spider-Boss says Ronda and Becky talking just after the release of their books. I think it's just publicity to get people to buy their books. Pardon me. Yes and no. Michael says hi, Tom. Hello, Mike. Checkerpedia says, what's up, Tom? Everyone like, subscribe, and share the video out, folks. Would very much appreciate that. Kelly says, Bo Dallas News, finally, I can't wait to hear it. Noob says, hello, Mr. Collie How are you doing today? And how's your weekend? Weekend has been okay. I've had to work more than I would like. Hello, Razar, nice to see you. Chris says, as if Roman doesn't take enough breaks. Spider Boss has had a bit of a, a, a freeze on the stream. Is anyone else encountering any problems with the stream so far? If there are any problems, please let me know. I am nervous about what has been happening with the streams lately. Hello, Moxie, nice to see you, mate. Ed says, would WWE be willing to pay handsomely for extra dates? Absolutely, they would. The question is, would Roman be willing to receive it? King Azza says, I think Roman's going to retain. I think WWE is tempted to break Hogan's record. Trekopedia says, Rock is going to go off and film Moana live action movie after Mania as well as other movies. Zane says, as long as Cody Rhodes and Bailey become win the titles, then WrestleMania will be good. Uh, Blue says, hi Tom, how bad do you think Tony wants to react to Punk? Wouldn't know, don't know the man personally, and uh, we'll see what happens. Ross says, evening everyone. Evening Ross. Brad says, if that's true and Roman won't be there, doesn't Cody have to win the belt? As I say, we will be talking about the end results of WrestleMania matches a little later. Michael says, do you believe Lashley makes it to Mania? Yeah, why wouldn't he? Blue says, have you heard anything about Pretty Deadly somehow getting in the 12-pack ladder match even with there already being six teams? I find it unlikely. I don't understand why that would happen. The only source is Dave Meltzer, which historically has been questionable at best. Spider-Boss says, I liked The Rock and Cody brawling on Raw. Finally, some brawl. Right, Marcel, no problems. Trekopedia, no problems. Wrestler fan says, will Lashley and the Prophets face cross an AOP at WrestleMania 40? I've been reporting on that one for a couple of weeks now. Was our stream's good. Brad, no problems. Ed, no problems. Lovely. Eric, we will be discussing Liv Morgan shortly. Joe says, Tom, how would you feel if Roman retained? Exactly the same as I felt this time last year when Roman retained. Thank you, Michael. So it seems like it was a Twitch thing at this point. One says, hey, Tom, do you believe TK has been ruthless as of late after the CM Punk debacle? No, I think he's the exact same guy that he was previously. WWE fan says, anything for Raw tonight, Tom? Yep, and they've announced stuff. Chris says, Hogan has no record, third place is not a record, but people can still call it a record, just like they can call the main event of night one of WrestleMania and night one main event when it's not. Eddie says, with this CM Punk interview, TK and AW buried and finished. They are absolutely not, not even close. Ross thinks Roman might retain. Joey says, hey, Tom, did you see Fightful report WWE officials view Ilya Druganov on the same level as Gunter? Yeah, and here's the thing. These are always interesting reports to read. Do you remember when um, Louis Dango was reporting, Drew McIntyre is going to get a serious push when Drew McIntyre was already the WWE champion? Reporting on, oh, management are hot on this person. That's never going to be disproven. Never. It is not possible to disprove that. Even if someone comes up and doesn't get pushed, well, management aren't going to come out and say, hey, yeah, no, we don't really like that guy. We've just got him for no reason. I don't believe anyone should stand on a record of, hey, this person might get a push. Spider-Boss says, only thing I can say at this point is never bet against Roman. Alice says, did you see the interview? Bits of it. JJ says, hey, Tom, I know Ariel asked Becky and she said no, but do you think she's upset that WWE haven't offered her a deal yet? No. Chris says, good evening, Tom. Good evening, Chris. Trekopedia says, only thing I got was an ad break, which is a YouTube thing. It is. I've got them on conservative ad breaks at this point, so I'm trying to keep them to a minimum. Please continue to let me know when you get an ad. It does help me hone it. Blue says, we seem to have a 12 match card at this point. Do we expect any more matches like Liv Naya? Liv Morgan News is coming a bit later. Moxie says, Tom, I just thought of this. Maybe the tag team ladder matches just to split the titles. It's not. Joey says, Fightful reported Bo Dallas is set to return soon. Do you see him come back with a new gimmick? More on that shortly. WWE fans says, I mean, any spoilers or hints for what's happening with The Rock and Roman? Yes, later, when I report on what is going to be happening at WrestleMania. Mox is excited about WrestleMania, says he can't wait. 
Roger says, I was disappointed I had to turn my TV channel over because Jade Cargill was on SmackDown. Okay, well, you could have just chosen not to do that. What, what is it you've got against Jade? Let me know. Remind me. I'm sure you told me before. Just remind me. Noob says, I'm excited for Jade Cargill to make her WrestleMania debut. I know Asuka is going to lose, but I'm more worried if she's possibly injured. She's not possibly injured. She is injured. It's just not to an extreme degree. Koo says, I'm hoping the night two main event is overbooked and is an Avengers Endgame final battle type of feeling to it. More on that shortly. Marcel says, have you seen the Bray Dock? Not as of yet. It's not available in the UK just yet. King Azza says, if, if Cody loses, would he ever recover? We'd have to be purely guessing and I don't want to do that. Leon says they need to get Ilya Drugunov out of the warehouse in Florida. Is he like a Ken doll? Is that how you imagine him? Trekipedia says, no worries, we'll get that on our videos when we do our stuff too. Spiderboss says, what happened to Liv Morgan's revenge tour? More on Liv Morgan shortly. Joey says, do you see the final testament versus the pride being the last match added to Mania? No, but yes. WrestleFan says, do you think Undertaker and Hulk Hogan will appear at WrestleMania 4 too? No idea. Eddie says, do you see MCMG debut at Raw after Mania? Who's MCMG? Who's that? Professor McGonagall? Spiderboss says, uh, damn stream keeps getting frozen a little bit here. Spiderboss, if you're having issues, apparently the YouTube stream is working brilliantly. Thank you, Zane, for letting me know. So pop on over and double check there. Andrew says, hello, Tom. Hope you had a great Easter. Had a great birthday. Happy birthday, mate. Also staying at my mates this weekend for WrestleMania 40. Hope you enjoy it. Chris says, any, idea, any info about CM Punk in 24? Any in idea of his attire? He's been consulted on his attire. The only information that's come out about Punk in 2024 originated here. Joey says, are they putting Jade in his six-woman tag match to protect her so she doesn't have to carry the workload? Yes. And also Asuka. As I said, Asuka is injured, so they're also protecting her. Welcome, Pete. Nice to see you. Thank you for renewing your subscription for a 16th month. That channel membership does go a long way and it does really help the growth of the channel. So thank you very much for that. Thank you, Motor City Machine Guns. Okay, gotcha. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. We have 29 likes and 67 viewers. One more gets us to 30. Can we keep this ball rolling, guys? Alex says CM Punk said it's a business move and when he returns to the ring, does that mean he's cleared or not? No, he's not cleared. It's a business move because he'll be cleared then they'll write the storyline. They want him back for SummerSlam, as reported here, to face off against Drew McIntyre. Spiderboss says Eddie Guerrero and Jeff Hardy waited years to win their first world title. Why Cody has to win now? He has waited years. He debuted in the WWE over a decade ago. Moxie says, Tom, by the way, me, you and Nick are going to WrestleMania to cost Cody the titles. I mean, you can keep saying stuff like that. It's not going to happen, mate. Trekipedia says... Uh, Trekkipedia is responding to Roger. Bailey says it was only a year ago with the worst Raw after many ever. Next week should introduce a number of new stories across the board. It will be Triple H's very first Raw after Mania. Personally, I am hyped to see what she can do. Gotcha, Roger. So you don't think she's ready for a singles match. Okay, so your issue is they're putting her in matches that she's ready for. Kush just says Gunter is world champion. Don't know why, but he does. And I respect it. Next piece of news, we're going to talk about the CM Punk interview. I want to briefly discuss what we have reported here in Spoiler Warning that CM Punk has personally confirmed. Before going into it, I would suggest that anyone who wants the, the scoops about Jack Perry and all that stuff, please do dive in and watch the interview. I'm a wrestling journalist. I support other wrestling journalists who aren't total arseholes. Ariel Huani is not a total arsehole. He's not even, in fact, any of an arsehole, to my knowledge. I'm happy to support his work. Please do check that out. But what I will discuss is things that have now been confirmed that were initially reported here. Two weeks before Fightful Select reported that CM Punk was negotiating with AEW to debut in AEW at All Elite Wrestling, I reported that CM Punk was actively negotiating with both AEW and the WWE and was in fact quite close to making a WWE appearance and signing a deal that would see him return to wrestling for hashtag the Fed. Thankfully, today is the first time that that news has come out anywhere other than spoiler warning and it came directly from CM Punk. Can't say I'm not happy about that. What can I say? Also, CM Punk confirmed that he was only on the Monday before Survivor Series that the conversation took place about CM Punk arriving in the WWE. If you all remember, I got a lot of hate for not knowing two months ahead of time 
that he was coming to WWE. Why didn't I know that? Because two months before, he wasn't coming to WWE. Then a week beforehand, if you'll remember, the spoiler warning thumbnail literally said, CM Punk to WWE. And I gave you one of these. You remember? Do you remember? In that same show, I got given a whole load of crap by someone who was telling me it's been done for months. That person has been proven a liar, even beyond what I said about them at the time. That being into the Wrestleverse, for everyone who remembers, came in and said, it's been done for months, it's been done for months. It's a lock. 97% a lock. Complete lie. Complete lie. They guessed, and then they wanted credit. What I did was report everything that happened as it happened, and I'm very proud of what we did here. I also reported the second the CM Punk made his debut at Survivor Series, I said the main event for night one of WrestleMania will be CM Punk challenging Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. CM Punk has now confirmed that that was indeed the plan. That was not reported anywhere else. It was theorised, but that was only reported on this channel. Also, a report that I made that nobody has touched until now, the report that CM Punk had two AEW contracts. There are a number of people in AEW who have two contracts, a wrestling contract and additionally a contract for services rendered such as executive vice president. There are a number of people have that. CM Punk was one of them. I am still the only person to report on that in AEW. Finally, CM Punk has now confirmed that he will be hosting kickoff shows at WrestleMania night one and night two, or at least that's the planet current, first reported right here on the Tom Collihue channel. So please forgive me for patting myself on the back there. I don't like to do it, but I get called a liar a lot. And weeks, months, sometimes years later, when I'm proven right, they don't come back to apologize. They don't. People only remember what someone more popular than me has told them. And someone more popular than me keeps calling me a liar and then being proven wrong. It is provably wrong. Yet people still believe it. So yes, every now and then, I just want to pat myself on the back and say, I'm proud of what we do here. Joey says, do Steve Stone Cold and Cena saving Cody from the bloodline? I reported previously on John Cena being invited to WrestleMania. I also reported the, the same day, like a couple of hours before we saw the big truck with Stone Cold and John Cena on it, that Stone Cold had been contacted to be brought into. Moxie says, fun fact, this is Bailey's first ever singles match at WrestleMania. That's actually crazy. Spider-Boss says, I think it's said here, it can be a good idea to put Jade Cargill in a tag team match at WrestleMania. Yes, I believe you did. Joey says, CM Punk said in the interview he wanted to be paid by TK and leave, confirming what you reported about the buyout. Indeed, I also reported at the time that there'd be no non-compete. I've seen Fightful taking a lap of honour for that one. I reported that there was no non-compete because CM Punk had been fired. They didn't want to pay him, which is why they were using him in the first place. Uh, I have no idea what JD from NY said, Roger, but I'd imagine it's sexist as fuck. Chris says, glad Punk didn't return then, to be honest, because Vince. Fair. Till he remembers that. Appreciate it. Rizal says, happy WrestleMania week, everyone. This is a time of year where all those fans really come together, and it's so fun and exciting, whether it be virtually or in person. Appreciate that, Chris. And appreciate you, Trekker Peter. I see what you're trying to do here. It's a nice approach that you're taking. You and Roger having a genuine conversation. I respect it. Then he says, who do you think will be the best match at WrestleMania 40? Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch. Yes, backwards, they did tell me it was a 97% lock. FDR, apologies for taking a moment there before celebrating you. A 17th month as a channel member. Thank you very kindly for your continued contribution. It does guarantee further growth in this channel. There are many ways that you can really help this channel grow and really help me as a person. I'll go on and give you a bit more detail, a little bit more, but just to say, all of the money that is using for, that is from channel memberships, that is from donations, that is from ad revenue, is all now going towards a house for my children. Please be aware of that when you donate. If that's not something you want to support, I respect that choice. 
but I do want to say that's the plan going forwards. FDR says, what's new with Colin Hugh? Been a while. Oh, I, I definitely have some updates for you then, mate. Stick around. LF says, hi, Tom. Off to Philadelphia on Thursday for WrestleMania and cannot wait. Blue says, Tom, do you think the Punk preferred WWE to AEW even then? Nope, because he didn't sign for WWE then. Wiggly says, hi, Tom. Hello, Wiggly. I am enjoying everyone sort of chatting between themselves as well. Keep it going, guys. If you guys uh, know each other a little bit, you can have your own independent conversations. I can just sort of skip past them and you can do your thing. But it does still boost the chat rate. You guys saying hello to each other guarantees more viewers. Sounds like a silly little thing. It's really not. We have 70 viewers and 36 likes. Four more gets us to 40. Can you be the four? Doesn't quite work. LF says Punk said he signed the deal, then walked straight into guerrilla position. That is just crazy. I said at the time he signed it then and there. He'd in fact signed it right before coming out. I literally said that on the stream. It's McKay says, hello Tom, just saying I hope your week's gone well. I'll always support you. Also want to ask, do you think more women's matches will happen at WrestleMania? PS, sorry for the hate. You're the OG best reporter. I appreciate that. It's McKay. I just try and get on with it and be the best that I can be. That's my intention. Uh, as regards the women's matches, uh, more on that shortly. Liv Morgan is the only one likely, but is that likely? Michael says, well done, Tom. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate you. Spider-Boss says, SRS and Meltzer would cry if CM Punk gave you credit. He, he never will. CM Punk will not give credit to, uh, to people he considers dirt cheats. Angel says, any plans for Liv Morgan? We have news on Liv Morgan. It is coming shortly. Uh, next up is on, on about Bo Dallas. Then it's Becky and Rhea. Then it's Liv Morgan. And then it is spoilers and predictions, but they're including spoilers, for the WrestleMania match finishes. Chris said, Tony really said, don't leave me. Wants to say, Tom, today Mercedes Money confirmed another report of yours saying she and TK have been talking since April of 2023. That is, in fact, pardon me, when I first reported it. Thank you, Juan. Appreciate you. I also just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's actually putting me over on Twitter at the moment. My follower numbers are increasing. My engagement is increasing. The viewership here is increasing. We're getting a lot more people finding this show because you guys are putting me over. As uh, many of you will have realized, if you're putting me over, I want to put you over. I'm going to be retweeting everything that is just celebrating something that I've done. So if you want to say this person has confirmed this report from Tom Colligue, I'm going to share that. Because it looks selfish if I do it myself. I'll share it and I appreciate every single one of you for helping me achieve my dreams. Spider Boss, more on Liv Morgan later, as you know. Alex says Punk said he quit and Tony Khan said he was fired, so which one was it? Punk said he quit, Tony Khan then fired him so he didn't have to pay him off. Wiggly says 23 years ago today, Tom was WrestleMania 17. Cool. Wiggly says, 23 years since the end of WCW. Cool. Chris says, was Vince the one who said no to Punk in 2021? No, nobody said no to Punk. Vince McMahon wanted CM Punk. CM Punk said no to WWE. Leon says, any WrestleMania 40 matches you're not excited for? Jay versus Jimmy. I'm just not there for it. Zane says, what's your favourite WrestleMania match? It is still Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. I know not everyone is in love with that one. I know that it's one that wrestling fans don't necessarily like to go back to. Still the one for me. Alex says, I saw your April Fool's tweet, Tom. I loved it. Thank you very kindly. I wanted to get that one in nice and early. Got a few people with it. Um, it did pretty well as well. I think it got about 4,000 views, which is pretty good for me. And uh, yeah, I'll absolutely take that. was thrilled with it. Wiggly just says hello to each person here in the stream. Lovely. Marcel says hi as well. Joe says I'm looking forward to Cody and Roman and Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. Spider-Boss says CM Punk, everyone with a Twitter account thinks he's a wrestling journalist. Clear shot from Punk to Meltzer. Also, technically, clear shot at me. Jessica says I wish Tony Khan would be a boss, not a kid. Strong. Strong. And yes, indeed, you are, Wiggly. Absolutely. Shifty says, is Punk set to appear tonight on the show? To my knowledge, no. Roger says, who do you think has done a better job for NXT, Triple H or Shawn Michaels? Triple H, because Shawn Michaels is now working on what Triple H has already built. Chris says, I got so much to work on this week for WrestleMania. It's a busy time. It's a busy time. 456 says, hello, everyone. It's going to be an epic and this weekend, let's have a great WrestleMania. And Brad says, the whole interview with Punk was crazy with how open he was. That's his thing. 
that's his thing. Uh, I don't eat snacks during watch alongs, Wiggly. Uh, it's a six hour show. I don't eat a snack. I rarely go to the bathroom. Love in it. Jessica wants to showcase Battle Royal for the women. Sadly, I don't see it, and I just think that's a real shame. Coup for free ask for much the same. A uh, spider boss, he seems to be the only one having problems at the moment, though earlier Michael did as well. Uh, Billy says, hello, Tom, what news did I miss so far? We've talked about the CM Punk interview and the Roman Reigns and The Rock schedule after WrestleMania. Backwards says, I'm actually really looking forward to Gunter versus Sami Zayn. They both have great matches. And everything's working well on Chris's end. Thank you, Chris. Angel says, love you, love your content. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate that. Also gives a thumbs up. 45 likes so far. Two more to 45, guys. Moxie said, Damien Priest is going to become the World Heavyweight Championship in six days. And I'm so excited. The man is going to turn to gold. King Other says, Tom, you finished your story. Mate, I am just getting started. My dream when I was growing up was to become a professional writer. And I do have some self-published works on Amazon and stuff, but I was first paid for writing at an old website called ultimateguitar.com, where I wrote sort of band fiction. I was 19. I achieved my life's ambition at 19 years old. So you know what I did? I dreamed bigger. Here I am. Wiggly says, how do you predict WrestleMania 40 will end? More on that shortly. Noob says, what was your least favourite WrestleMania match? Of all of WrestleMania, probably The Undertaker versus uh, Dan Gonzalez. It's McKay says, you probably already know, but I've just seen we're getting Liv versus Rhea. I think everyone knows what that could mean. More on that shortly. Joey says, do you see there being a surprise segment at Mania? I'm constantly told there's going to be. Trekopedia says, do you think it's time for WWE to give the Money in the Bank matches a rest? Nope. I think they're intentionally trying to lull you in a, into a false sense of security. Calvin says Triple H needs to be fired, which I'm not entirely there for. Says Fury and Waller earned their spot in the ladder match. No one dispute, no one's disputing that, Calvin. I think you might be listening to Meltzer a bit too much. Wiggly says I read online some fans spewing hate on Kyrie for supposed botches. There will always, always be fans spewing hate everywhere. Joey says, do you see Andrade winning the Battle Royal? I think it'd be a very good shout for it. I just don't necessarily think it's a great thing to have. Consider, for example, what it's done for Bobby Lashley's career winning it. Yeah, he didn't. Jessica says, everybody said The Rock overshadows Roman Reigns. Build again, Cody. I think The Rock is overshadowing Roman Reigns. Alice says, are you excited for the prime bottle in the ring on Saturday and Sunday? No. Crush says, will CM Punk get in trouble? Eventually, yes. With someone, at some point, in some way, CM Punk is a trouble magnet. JMG Jill says, Roman says in his bio last night, if he loses the belt, he is quitting. Of course he says that, he's in character. Thank you, Michael, appreciate that since that one earlier. Uh, Wiggly, I don't need to do a creative writing course. I am trained in creative writing. I am literally a professional writer. I'm out there, man, I'm out there, go find me. Joey says, did wrestlers actually sign NDA in AEW or were they fake rumors? There are a number of wrestlers who've signed non-disclosure agreements in AEW and a number who've signed them in WWE, though most of those are directly related to Vince McMahon. Chris LeClaire is looking forward to Bailey vs. Eo Sky, Damage Control vs. Jay Cargill, Naomi and Bianca Belair, and Becky Lynch vs. Rhea Ripley this weekend. Chris LeClaire likes women's wrestling. Marcel says, I like this one, dive into this one for me guys. Give me some answers for it. Marcel says, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you all? This is for WrestleMania. How excited are you for WrestleMania? Marcel is giving it an 8. I'm giving it a 6. I get more excited as I get closer. Blue says, Lawler versus Cole is the worst match for me. King Alice says, do you see a brawl taking place between The Rock and Roman and Seth and Cody? Yeah, probably. Chris says, I've seen so many people witch hunting Triple H. Thank you, Coot, says, got an ad break. Did anyone else get an ad break there? They're supposed to spread them out and not everybody gets them. So at most, you should get one per hour. Chris says, give the Battle Royal winner a title shot. I agree. Ideally, make it the next challenger for Gunter. Spider Boss says, funny that Jay Uso didn't want to save Cody last Monday when The Rock has been up Cody and Jay said he missed Jimmy. Razal says, I forgot about the Prime Bottle logo being in the ring during WrestleMania. Roger says, Matt Cardona returned to TNA, helped Steph Delander win a match. He also popped up in AEW, to my knowledge. Blue says, Priest set up the cash in this past week on Raw. And Wiggly says, are you going to watch Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor on Friday, Tom? Nope. Jessica says, four for excited. Juan is a seven. Bailey is a nine. Jessica says four again for some reason. Blue gives it a 10. Brad gives it a 9.5. Eric gives it a nine. Wiggly, you're not going to get ad breaks. You're on Twitch. Ads pay about 20 times the amount on YouTube than they do on Twitch, 
which is why I'm pushing YouTube. Leon gives it a 9. King Azza gives it a 10. Joe gives it a 10. Rizal gives it a 6 and says, I get excited as it gets closer too. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Marcel. Allied says, do you think Cody gets revenge on The Rock tonight? No. Chris says, if Jay turns heel, then all of this has been useless. The thing is, I also didn't believe Jimmy was going to turn heel because it didn't make any sense at all, and they did it. Leon says, Nick Aldis just announced that Bobby's faction will face Cross and AOP in a street fight at WrestleMania. So, exactly what I was expecting. Khalid gives it a 10 as well. Thank you for bringing that in, by the way, Leon. Angel says, do you think they would ever turn Roman face and keep the Rock heel if they were to do Rock versus Roman next year at WrestleMania? Quite possibly, yes. Chris says, the only match I'm not looking forward to is Ray and Dragon Lee versus Dom and Santos. I kind of feel like Dragon Lee and Dom were shoehorned into this match. My excitement is about seven right now. So I have news on that. That's exactly what happened. The WWE, particularly Triple H, realized that one of their best assets, Dominic Mysterio, did not have a match at WrestleMania. They also realized that Rey Mysterio had been out injured for too long, and the actual match between Santos they were planning had lost all of its heat. They originally planned to add Carlito and Dominic Mysterio to the match. Things are not right with Carlito. I've not been able to get any particular information on it. It sounds like potentially niggling injuries. But Carlito has been unavailable a lot more than the WWE would like. Moxie gives it a 9.447. JJ says, do you know who's going to have a big entrance for WrestleMania? The Rocks is going to be huge. Thank you, Khalid. Thank you, Wham. Jessica says, can we see black hair Cody Rose back? One day, yes, before it goes grey. Roger prefers a WrestleMania as only one night and says it twice, just to be sure. Affirming that it's in the UK, which I understand because I'm in the UK too. Yes, Joey, Dragon Lee is filling in for Carlito. Spider Boss excitement is on a five. Blue's still very excited for the Lucha tag with the additions. I feel like it has a chance to be another Lucha classic like Dom Ray last year. I can't remember much of the actual match last year, but hell if I don't remember those entrances. Triple H knows what he's doing. Right, next piece of news is as regards Bo Dallas. And yes, the WWE are currently planning the Bo Dallas return. He will not be wrestling as Uncle Howdy, to my knowledge, but there will be a number of elements of his character that are respectful of Bray Wyatt's legacy. He will not be playing a watered-down Bray Wyatt. That's not going to happen. But Bo Dallas will be very open about his connection to Bray Wyatt. There is also planned to be some connection between Alexa Bliss when she returns, planned in around SummerSlam time if she's comfortable doing so, and uh, that will also work pretty well with Bo Dallas, I feel. There'll be some connections there. So, Bo Dallas is planning a return. He will not be playing Uncle Howdy. He will not be playing a budget version of Bray Wyatt. He will be playing Bo Dallas, but he will be respecting the characters that came before and his relationship to Bray Wyatt. Alexa Bliss also expected back relatively soon, around about SummerSlam time has been penciled in, but she will also have elements of her character in respect to who she was when she was working with Bray Wyatt. Shifty says, two questions, are there plans to split the tr Street Profits? Not at this time. Are there plans to turn Carlito heel? Not at this time. <laughs> it's funny, Calvin, I like that. Wants to say, Tom, since wrestlers eventually return, do you see Cody or Jade returning to AEW eventually? No. Blue says, considering Carlito's reaction to Ray picking Dragon Lee, I assume he's going heel soon, maybe at Mania. Maybe, maybe not. Roger says, will there be any celebrity at WrestleMania 40? Logan Paul's the main one. Jessica says, can we see one day WrestleMania be both cities like Night 1, Miami, and Night 2, Los Angeles? Yeah, eventually one day. That is something that they're considering, yes. Rosar says, Dakota Kai has been killing it since returning. Does the company have any big plans for her in the future? I think she'd be a great miss... Pardon me. Money in the bank. Yes, there are plans for Dakota Kai future. She is going to be a pretty big name with what's going on with damage control. They're expecting a pretty big push around her and we'll see more of her going forwards. Chris says, Bo has hinted on his YouTube channel that his reason, his return, could be at Mania or after Mania. He's also hinted at a possible stable of Alexa Bliss and Sean Spears. That does confirm a lot of what I've said there and a lot of what I said about Alexa Bliss a couple of weeks ago. So, Vic says, hello, Tom. Hope you're doing well. Is it true that Wall of Fury getting replaced in six-pack ladder match for tag titles? I've only heard that from Dave Meltzer. I don't personally see it. 
Grayson Waller and Austin Theory are people that the WWE want on every WrestleMania card. They don't want to basically abandon Theory, especially after having him beat John Cena last year. So they are likely to be on the card. I don't... The only thing that could possibly change that is if tonight on Raw, they break them up. I don't see it. Khalid says, can't wait to see Bo Dallas return and pay tribute to his brother. Noob says, I get the feeling Carlito and Zelina Vega are going to leave the LWO. And Vegeta says, Carlito had a reaction. King Alice says, Tom, do you think Roman will be at SummerSlam? Yes, but I don't think he'll be the main event. Wiggly says, I hope they don't split the mania between two cities unless their cities very close to each other. Spider-Boss says, second year in which the women's tag team titles will not be defended. Does WWE have plans for those titles? Yes, they are rebuilding a women's tag division. The initial plan was for Asuka and Kairi Sane to take on um, Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair. There's been a lot of changes around this. Um, Naomi was then added as she became more available than they were expecting around Royal Rumble time. And we've gone from there. Steve Freeman says, how did you like the Rhea and Becky confrontation on the MMA hour today? In fact, that is perfect, uh, D Freeman, because that is our next piece of news. We have 89 people watching and only 49 likes. One more gets us over the line. Can you keep it rolling and get that number up for me? Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley attacking each other is all part of the story. Becky Lynch laying into Rhea Ripley for giving someone a stink face is part of the story and has been agreed previously. Rhea Ripley essentially laughing it off on MMA hour is all part of the story. The WWE, particularly Becky Lynch, who's directly involved in the creative for this, has been trying to recapture the magic of the initial run of The Man back in 2018. Back in 2018, Rhea Ripley was in NXT and she cut her teeth on social media going after Becky Lynch after Becky Lynch appeared in NXT so that she could get attacked by Charlotte Flair. This led to a very real, very genuine friendship that is basically predicated on giving each other constant shit on social media. Becky Lynch is basically saying to Rhea Ripley, give me everything you've got. And Rhea Ripley is saying, ditto. So that's what they're doing. They will occasionally check in with each other. And Rhea Ripley right now is also trying to sell books for Becky Lynch. But let's be fair, so is everybody. They're all trying to sell that book and it's kind of working. You're going to see it pop up on a bestseller list very shortly. They're enjoying being a bit too close for comfort, and it's working for them. There is no genuine animosity between the two. They are happy to be working together and to be going after the throat constantly. There is non-stop respect between the two. And honestly, I think they're giving us great entertainment. I'm really enjoying it. When it comes to WrestleMania, people are starting to come around to my way of thinking as you will see shortly, because a couple of more pieces of news, and then we get to spoilers and predictions for Mania match finishes, okay? If people want to mute at that point, you are welcome to do so. I'll give you a big wave when we're done. You know, I'll put it in the chat. I'll make sure everybody knows, okay? So just think ahead with that one. Next up, we're going to talk Liv Morgan and her WrestleMania plans. Then there's a few personal updates, then we're talking those spoilers, so not long now. Vegeta says Dakota Kai is decent. I agree. I think more than decent. I think she's incredibly talented. Trickopedia says, who would you like to see get the Warrior Award? I'd like to see DDP get it. The whole point of the Warrior Award is for someone to get it who isn't necessarily visibly on screen. So I'd like it to be someone I've never heard of. Wiggly says, have you managed to watch the Bulldog documentary yet? No, as of yet, no. I've had a lot of sick family members over the last few days. Slavik says, is there going to be repercussions for the Punk Hawani interview on WWE? No. Wiggly says, what's your view on Bulldog? I don't really know what you're asking. Joey says, do you see WWE doing another tag team showcast match for Mania or was that a Vince thing? They're already doing it. That's what the six woman tag match is. It's also what Santos and um, Dominic Mysterio versus Carlito and Rey Mysterio is. Michael says they've been rebuilding the women's tag division for about four years. It's not happening. They finally got rid of Vince from it, first and foremost. And secondly, the curse, mate. You have to factor in the curse. They're not doing a great job of it. I agree with you there. But the curse. Chris says, when Bailey wins the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania 40, I can see Bailey facing Dakota Kai, Asuka and Kairi Sane for the WWE Women's Championship. I myself reported that a couple of weeks ago as well. Spider-Boss says it took a while, but Becky and Rhea finally interact with each other. Uh, more on that shortly. 
Eric says, but I thought Rhea and Becky didn't have any story. They make whatever story they want. Shifty says, why is Rhea Ripley wearing a cast on her wrist arm? She's a bit banged up, but she'll be fine. Roger says, will the Becky Lynch book be digital so I can buy it on my tablet? Yes, in addition to that, it's also an audio book. Blue says, hope the family's doing okay. Tom, doing better. Youngest was at the urgent care unit on Monday. Not the youngest, the eldest. That was on Monday. She's not exactly fully recovered. And, uh, yeah, partner went down on Friday and stayed down. So my Easter weekend has been essentially looking after. Didn't get a lot done. Which, you know, it is what it is. Joey says the final testament versus the pride was just announced for Mania by Nick Aldis. JJ says we know Becky didn't sign. Did Seth already sign a contract? Nope. Neither Becky Lynch nor Seth Rollins have signed new WWE contracts. And the WWE have not yet gone hell for leather with them. The priority for the WWE right now is Drew McIntyre. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins are not believed to be even slightly interested in going anywhere else. It's all about giving them the dates that they're looking for and the WWE are eager to do so. Spider-Boss says four years rebuilding the women's tag team division while WWE's broke up tag teams and has built random tag teams that end up winning the titles. To be fair, all tag teams start as random tag teams. Leon says, damn, hopefully your family is doing well. Uh, they're doing better. Blue says, overall, I feel like the Punk interview is great. PR for WWE, bad PR for AW. So it'd be weird for Punk to get heat. Yeah, he's not going to get any heat. Noob says, the curse is already on the Kabuki Warriors and it's on Asuka. I am... I, I know, guys. I know you're joking. Uh, I, I, you know me. I'm straight laced. Um, I'm just really glad that I immediately got my report on Asuka's injury confirmed. Peter Insider, you know, do me a favour, just not mentioning me while doing so. Jessica, I'm not going to body shame anyone. That's not what I'm going to do. Then says, will there be the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? Yep, it's on SmackDown. Jessica says, Eosky and Bailey have a better storyline. They've been building that one for a while. No, no worries, Blue. We're okay. We're okay. Drake Peter says, lots of respect for Rhea and Becky. They both go full throttle and do a great job. Also says, hope the fam feel better soon, Tom. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Shifty says, a WWE where of the Punk interview? Yeah, they set it up. You're not allowed to do media in the WWE without the WWE say so. Storm stops. Is any updates on Finn Balor's status with WWE? Not at this point. He's not being considered a priority. Drew McIntyre, then Becky and Seth, then Finn Balor. The WWE ultimately kind of think he might go. Hello, Sean. Nice to see you, mate. Vegeta says, did you ever imagine that Drew and Cody would be top guys when they were tag champs so many years ago? Wasn't watching at the time, so very much no. Spider-Boss says, who do you think will be Mercedes' first rival in AEW, Julia Hart or Willow? They seem to be building towards Willow, but Julia Hart is in the periphery, ready to pounce. Sean says, do you see Seth turning on Cody? Why? Chris says, Asuka and Bailey should be good. Remember, Bailey has never beaten Asuka. Asuka took the NXT women's title from her. Selvig says, hope the family recovers well and have positive vibes all the way. Thank you, Selvig. Appreciate you. Trekkipedia says, any updates on Seamus? Not at this point in time. Everything has gone very quiet as regards Seamus. I'm not sure what's happening, um, but not a lot of news ever does come out about Seamus. Uh, Zane, I don't believe any matches will be on the pre-show. Next piece of news as regards Liv Morgan. I know a lot of you are waiting for this. Liv Morgan versus Nia Jax does not seem set for WrestleMania at this point, but there is still a chance to make that one happen. The reason we're seeing Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley tonight is not to get a clean finish. Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley have unfinished business, and that will play out after WrestleMania. So the big opportunity is if Nia Jax and Becky Lynch, in fact, get involved with this match. This essentially means we could get to a point where Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley are both basically just beating up Nia Jax, and Liv Morgan joins in. Certainly could happen. Nia Jax was originally scheduled to face Jade Cargill at WrestleMania. Jade Cargill is not believed to be ready for that and has instead been pivoted to a damage control match. Pardon me. Uh, instead been pivoted to a damage control match. As regards Nia Jax, this means she is available for Liv Morgan. Steve says, do you think Finn Balor will cross the line? Personally, I think he might. We'll see how it goes. Koo says, Seamus in New Japan, hear me out. Blue says, is it possible Seamus leaves? I don't know what's happening. I can't speculate at this point. Sean says, I've also seen many fans saying there'll be a double turn between Becky and Rhea and WWE's built to it. Do you see it happening? 
having a lot of people are wishful thinking and if it happens they'll say I was right they're guessing they're wishful thinking it's not related Crush says if Seamus is contract up soon it depends if it's being extended due to your injury we don't know Joey says do you think it could be a contract thing we don't know Vegeta says no way Seamus goes we don't know JJ says, watch the show you put out, Tom. I can't wait to see Becky in Hollywood. She's definitely ready for it. Paper Mega 5000 says, Roman going to take break, then Roman turn babyface, help his family. Then it can repeat, like so. Cody lost WrestleMania 39. This time Roman lose, then like WrestleMania 40. Maybe Roman wins, repeat something. Hope. We'll see. We will indeed see. And it sounds an interesting story, I'll say that. Galvin says, do you know if SmackDown superstars are going to be on Raw tonight? I don't have the spoilers for that, no. Sovic doubts Finn goes to TNA. Chris LeClaire says, and I thought it was this one, Bailey beat Asuka in 2020 SummerSlam for the WWE Women's SmackDown Championship during Bailey's 379-day reign. Thank you for clarifying on that one, Chris. Sean says, Cody has to win now with the new deal he signed. Unrelated. Eric says, the Sheamus, uh, we don't know. Steve says, since I'm going to WrestleMania, my excitement is high, but I'm trying to figure out the work I've got to do around the weekend. Juan says, Andrew Zarin believes AEW will get a TV deal, but I don't buy it simply because the more time goes by, the likelihood AEW chances go down. AEW will get a TV deal. They absolutely will get a TV deal. That doesn't mean they're going to get a billion dollar TV deal, and it doesn't mean it's going to come from the same source as their current one. But they're going to get a deal. Joey says, why do some people online think the Hardys are showing up at Mania? Isn't Jeff still under contract? Yeah. Yes, he is. Technically, so is Matt. It's funny how people just make up their own things. Calvin says, if Waller and Fury are still in the ladder match, do you see Fury reuniting with Gargano and turning face? Pure guesswork there, Calvin. You're asking me a guess. Billy says, hopefully Sheamus is doing all right. Hopefully so. Shifty says, Ibu of WrestlePurist reported Punk will appear tonight on Raw. Anything you got? No. He's building towards WrestleMania. He is, of course, still working with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. Sean says, is Raw first hour commercial free or was that an April Fool's joke? It is pretty regularly. I believe it will be. Spider-Boss says, not being biased, but the only four horsemen who's been on Hollywood is the CEO, CEO, CEO. Okay. Not being biased, he says, and then is biased. Wiggly says, AEW still doesn't even have a TV deal uh, to broadcast live in the UK. True. And Blue says, I really appreciate that when you don't know, you even avoid speculation. That's one thing that really gets Wrestling Observer News led to some bad PR. They know it will be aggravated like news. They do. Not enough is said about the fact that they know what's going to happen. They still say it and spread it. JJ says, T is TNA officially working with WWE? They posted a clip of Becky saying she wanted to go there before WWE. No. Wiggly says AEW still isn't doing extensive touring outside North America aside from the Wembley show. Okay, but they still plan to. Paper Mega 5000 says, are we getting CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre? It's history with the New Day, Kofi Kingston and CM Punk. Meet might see Drew attack New Day, attack Punk. They don't need to involve anyone else. There's enough history between the two of them. Trekkipedia says, what happened to the WWE studio movies? They weren't profitable, so they stopped them. Grayson says, if I missed the bow news, you have. It's about 25 minutes in, by all means, pop back. Jessica says, Osprey Okada, Mercedes money so far not working. Last week, AW Dynamite, one of the worst low attendance ever, a lot of empty seats. Uh, I don't believe it's one of their lowest attendances. Well, one of, to be fair. Sovic says, I saw Wrestling Observer uh, of WrestleMania is basically what we are predicting. Uh, Vegeta says, Motor City, machine guns to replace A-Town Down Under. Couldn't tell you. No idea. Spider-Boss says, I respect Ronda Rousey for giving her opinion about WWE and the booking of the women's division. And Patrick says, Tim, Tom and chat, I'm going back to start the video. I hope you're doing well. Doing well. Thank you, Patrick. Nice to see you. Wiggly says, yes, they were planning to, but when will that happen? Okay. At this point, you're ranting about AEW, mate. I get that. Um, but I, there's not news I've got on it. AEW are doing well for their resources. They are. Unless they get more people watching, which they do feel confident about their plan. They won't continue to grow. But right now, they don't need to continue to grow. They'll still get a TV deal. And ultimately, what they need to do is get rid of some people lower down the card. That's the problem. They have brought in a new creative team. This solves a lot of the problems that Punk was having, for example. They're making the right move movements. Blue says Becky has done some Hollywood work. Not extensive, but she has done it. 
And Shifty says, Punk said, unannounced PLEs this summer will be huge. Have you heard anything on that? Only rumours about a UK show. Paper Mega 5 fans says, what's on Smackdown? Cody Smile at Roman bringing Jay and Seth. This means a heel turn. No, it doesn't. Someone smiling does not mean a heel turn. That's not what that means. Right, I have a personal update that I want to give before we then start talking about the WrestleMania spoilers. So this is just going to be really quite simple. I have had an offer accepted for a house. I put in the offer on Thursday, and by the end of Thursday, it had been accepted. We did a bit of negotiating. I'm very happy with the number that I've ended up with. Right now, I've suddenly got a whole load of extra fees popping up. That being, of course, a surveyor to fix anything that needs fixing, a legal representation to get it over the line. I have the deposit. I'm going to need to save pretty sharply over the next few months. So as I did mention earlier, and as I will continue to mention, all proceeds from this YouTube channel goes towards a house for me, my partner, and our two children. Her two children, our two children. I want to buy them a house. So just so everyone knows, every piece of ad revenue, every donation, everything from channel memberships goes directly to the fund for the house. Firstly, for buying it, because I've got the deposit, but once I start with those hidden fees, I might not have any more. Um, and secondly, of course, for repairs once I'm in. So yeah, there's a lot of work needs doing, like an incredible amount of work. But at the end of all that work, I'll have a four bedroom house for me and my two children and my partner, as well as an office so I can keep doing this. I don't come from money. I don't know how better to explain that. I was born in a little shithole called Kingston upon Hull, um, live in council houses, never went on any school trips, couldn't afford them, didn't go abroad until I was 25. Literally did not leave the country until I was 25 and I was earning some money myself. And this YouTube channel has genuinely turned that around. It's turned that around. The generosity of people here means that I can now provide for my family in a way that means that they will not suffer the same things I suffered. They will not have to sit in the cold for weeks during winter. They won't have to. They won't have to live off bread for days at a time. Not sandwiches. Bread. And you had to make one loaf of bread last. We had some tough times. And thank you to the generosity of everyone here. Those tough times might be at an end. And my children might never see them. So, thank you. Every comment, every like, every time someone watches an ad, that's money in the pocket of my children. And I want to say a massive thank you. I'm not lucky enough to be a managing editor of a major wrestling publication and uh, I can just go ahead and pay off the mortgages of my entire family and buy them cars and all that. I, I don't have that facility. My livelihood was taken away from me in 2020. Taken away completely. All of the savings I'd accrued over the past 10 years were taken away from me completely. I had to start from nothing with this channel. And you guys held me together and made me believe. So thank you. Spoiler warning is doing well. We're back at a point where we're getting more than 100 viewers here. I'm thrilled with that. Life in general is doing well. I, within the next 12 weeks, should be moving into a new house. We might be able to finally do something with the backdrop when I'm no longer renting. And yeah, I can't wait to give you guys a tour and show you the holes in the floor. Because there's a lot of them. Wiggly says, fantastic. Thank you, Wiggly. Blue says, could they really do UK, France and Germany in one year? Absolutely, they could. And Saudi Arabia, don't forget. Trekkipedia says, congrats, Tom, on the house. Thank you kindly. Ed says, Tom has a house. Again, still need that deposit. <laughs> Brad says, awesome news. Blue says, congrats, Tom. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. JJ says, congrats, Tom. So that means we can say goodbye to the white wall. I want to get some lights and stuff. I want to make it interesting. So the kick says, congrats, Tom, you got this. Thank you kindly. One says, round of applause for Tom. Thank you, one. Billy says, congratulations. Thank you, Billy. 
Razar says, happy for you, Tom. Congrats. Thank you, Razar. Brad says, congrats on the house. Thank you. Marcel says, congrats. Thank you as well. Uh, Khalif says, really happy for you, Tom. You're doing a great job. Uh, you deserve the house. Thank you very much. Uh, Chris says, happy for you, Tom. Thank you very much, Crush. Absolutely. So, so grateful to, to hear such good news. And such th th this is so well received. It just... When when I heard about Bray Wyatt, I, I didn't go live to try and make money. I went live to share time with my friends. I get along really well with most of you. I'm constantly talking to so many of you on Twitter or here. It really does feel like family here. And, and I, I'm really happy with the community that we built. 59 likes, 106 viewers, one more gets us to 60. Can you be my one? Spider-Boss says the feud Lashley in the Street Profits versus the Final Testament feels so boring. Yes, but it's the only feud Cross has had, so give him something worthwhile. I'm not really worried about ghosts, Jessica. Gotta say. Taylor says I joined just in time to his wonderful news. What an absolute blessing. Thank you, Taylor. Joey says congrats as well. Thank you. Ed says for those that are new, there was a time where, where we, Tom and I, would talk about not knowing where Spoiler Warning would be broadcasting from. August after we started, yeah. And now he's starting the process of buying a house. I am. I am. Ed, I remember the days where you said spoiler warning would still happen even if I couldn't make it because I'd give you the news and you'd present it and I would take the proceeds. I remember your generosity and I'm never going to forget it. Ah, Chris says CM Punk confirmed he was left stranded at the airport in London for all in. Vegeta says happy for you. Thank you, Vegeta. And Brad says I believe in Tom Collie. Thank you kindly. Joe is team Tom as well. Michael says congrats. Thank you very much. Trekopedia says Tom, you're a good person. You absolutely deserve it. Thank you. And Moxie says congratulations, man. You deserve it as well. Spider Boss says Becky said what Rhea's been doing is hypersexualized. That doesn't represent what they've been doing in the women's division. Becky has a point. Becky is, of course, keeping the feud going. And Spider Boss also says, Congratulations, Tom. Since 2012, that my family and me have been renting a house and it's hard to keep paying the bills. It will genuinely be cheaper for me to own a house once I've paid that deposit. It will genuinely be cheaper. What a world we live in. Like, seriously, that feels ridiculous. Ooh. Joe says, The YouTuber ever and team Tom. Ishi says, did I miss the Uncle Howdy news? There was no Uncle Howdy news. There's Bo Dallas news, but that's not the same thing. JJ says, like the stream everyone so Tom can get the house. Thank you, JJ. Appreciate you. Khalid says, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, it, uh, yes, it did. Joe says, Tom, we couldn't do without you. Thank you kindly. And Vegeta says, boring how? Well, I mean, house, innit? Boring and settling down. What can I say? Right. We have some predictions for WrestleMania 40. But hidden amongst these is spoilers. Now, if you don't want to hear them, please mute. I'd appreciate it if you don't drop off, but please mute. And uh, that will mean that you don't hear the potential spoilers. But I'm going to give you news. And hidden amongst all of this is several spoilers as to what's going to happen. Those who are familiar with how I work will spot them immediately. Spider Boss, I can see what you're doing there. Uh, let me know what your predictions are as I give them for each match. We start with the main event of night one, as first reported here on Spoiler Warning The Rock and Roman Reigns taking on Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. I've been reporting previously that Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins will be losing, and The Rock will be pinning Cody Rhodes. The Rock and Roman Reigns are expected to pick up the win over Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. The idea is that Seth Rollins will be hurt going into night two. Cody Rhodes will be absolutely overwhelmed going into night two. And in bloodline rules, Cody Rhodes is going to need some help and is absolutely going to get it. Brad has Rock and Roman. Taylor has Rock and Roman. Khalid has Rock and Roman. Wiggly has Rock and Roman as well. And uh, Spider-Boss also has Rock and Roman. I remember a time when people considered that sacrilege. 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 The sacrilege is you. Joe has Roman and The Rock as well. Alid also has The Rock and Roman. Sovic has The Rock and Roman Reigns. Next up, let's talk World Heavyweight Championship. Because the overwhelming favourite for the match between Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins 
is Drew McIntyre. What I would say, and again, regulars here will know what I mean. I expect Seth Rollins to lose a WrestleMania. I do not expect Drew McIntyre to win. That's just me though, and we'll see how it plays out. Let's see what people have got. Joey said there are big plans for Tiffany Stratton after Mania. Yes, there are. Brad has Drew. Khalid has Drew as well. Wiggly thinks Seth will pick up the win. Zovic has Damien Priest. Taylor thinks it'll be a money in the bank cash in also. King Azza has Seth retaining. Aled goes for Damien Priest. One also goes for Damien Priest. So mixed responses here. Mixed responses. JJ has Seth winning, then Damien cashing in, and Marcel has Damien as well. Wiggly predicts that Damien will not cash in at WrestleMania. Joe has Damien too. Next up, and a lot of people have come round to my way of thinking on this one. There was a time that people thought Becky Lynch was guaranteed to leave WrestleMania as the women's champion. I didn't see it. I still don't see it. Rhea Ripley is a favourite to retain the women's championship over Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. This will be the beginning of the contract negotiation. Becky Lynch likely to be taking off TV or at least taking off of live matches in order to make this one over the line. Becky Lynch will lose against Rhea Ripley. Wiggly predicts Becky Lynch will beat Rhea. King Azza has Rhea. Khalid has Rhea Ripley. Sovic has Rhea. Brad has Rhea. Marcel has Rhea as well. I do think we get a little bit of confirmation bias here because a lot of people always seem to agree with me and I appreciate that. Joe has Rhea also. Okay. Juan has Mami Rhea, which is like Rhea, but just a little bit more kinky. JJ says Rhea and Becky taking a break. Blue has Rhea as well. Zane has Becky. Spider Boss says Rhea beats Becky as well. Taylor says Rhea wins. Charlotte Flair comes out, makes another cues. Cues? Jessica just says, I've got the referee. Like it. The other women's championship match is Bailey versus EO Sky. Bailey is currently expected to win and claim the championship. The plan going forwards is for Bailey to be defending that championship against almost every member of Damage Control. Dakota Kai looks like she'll be the final boss and they are building her back up as a genuine threat. The idea to have a Damage Control triple threat has been mooted and I'm expecting it to come to fruition. Bailey to claim the championship, setting off a chain reaction, the results in a big year for Damage Control. But as I reported in November, it is the year of Bailey. 2024. Last year was the year of Judgment Day. This year is the year of Bailey. And Moxie, I, I get asked these questions a lot. So everyone already knows what my predictions are anyway. But now the spoiler's in here. Khalid has Bailey winning. Blue has Eo winning. King Azza has Eo winning as well. Brad has Bailey. Sovic has Bailey. Vegeta says Charlotte is hurt big time. She's running. She's running. I don't think she can wrestle at this point. She's absolutely coming back before next year, Vegeta. She absolutely is. Uh, check my Twitter. I've uh, posted a video uh, of Charlotte exercising, and uh, she's she's not far off. Spider Boss says, I see Asuka more as a final boss than Dakota Kai. You may. That doesn't mean it's going to be the case. Vegeta, at this point, I was going to say, I, I think you're spamming, but it looks like it was accidental, so I'm happy to forgive. Next up, the Intercontinental Championship. Gunter will be retaining over Sami Zayn. I reported exactly why this is happening way ahead of time. Uh, the original plan was, of course, Gunter versus Brock Lesnar. This isn't happening because someone pissed on that bonfire. Um, Sami Zayn was going to be defeating Drew McIntyre WrestleMania when the initial plan was for Seth Rollins to take on CM Punk. That also now no longer happening due to the injury, first to Seth Rollins, then to CM Punk. So now we're at a point where it's Gunter versus Sami Zayn just to basically get Sami Zayn on the card, which is effective, but it is what it is. Gunter will be defeating Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are just kind of there. Just kind of there. Spider-Boss says, I see Gunter winning clean. 
Allied has Gunter, Khalid has Gunter, King Azza has Gunter. Sovik says maybe Brock shows up. Trekopedia is, is talking to Jessica. Roger says, will the fans be cheering Bailey? Yes. Taylor sees what I did there. Respect it. Respect it. Yeah, there's, there's some happy people about that. There's some happy people. Blue has Sammy. Roger has Sammy Zayn. We have some differentiation. Wiggly has Gunter as well. I've already mentioned that one. Interesting it's McCade. Personally, don't see it. FDR says Gunter, but with the old theme back, someone will not be getting his wish. We have three matches left that I have news on. Firstly, Jimmy Uso versus Jey Uso. The favourite at the moment is Jey Uso. Personally, this is one that I see changing. I don't necessarily think Jey Uso really benefits from the win the way that Jimmy Uso would, but at the same time, I don't really care. Jey is the favourite. I have Jimmy. I don't really care either way. I'm not excited about Uso versus Uso. I'm just not. King Azza has Jimmy. Aled has Jimmy as well. Lucky Kratos. That's a new name. Welcome. Has Jimmy too. Blue has Jay and also doesn't really care. Spider-Boss has Jay. Uso will beat Jimmy and then yeet. Whatever that means. Khalid has Jimmy. It's McCade. Has Jimmy. One is just tired of the whole thing. Vegeta has Jay. Crush says Jimmy wins due to Solo. Trekopedia has Jimmy as well. Taylor says Gunn holds the IC title until he gets his Rumble win next year. We'll see how that one goes. Sovic has Jimmy too. Not to be confused with Jimmy Chu. FDR says Jimmy should win. Only way to make it make sense to have Roman, the only member of the bloodline, to lose at Mania. Of course, Solo is not wrestling, so that does work as a very good storyline. Jessica has Jimmy Neutro. Zane says, I want to see Volta name back. You won't be. Two matches. The US Championship match up next. My prediction is that Randy Orton leaves WrestleMania as the United States Champion. Again, he is not the favourite. The favourite at the moment is actually Logan Paul retaining. The idea seems to be that while they pushed back the, uh, the uh, planned match of LA Knight versus Logan Paul, they do still want it to happen. So there's a possibility that Logan Paul retains, holds the championship for a little longer, and then loses to LA Knight further down the way. Personally, it looks like they weren't really expecting Randy Orton to be involved in WrestleMania and have put him in this one because of the high-profile match that it is. I still have Randy Orton, but let's just say streets are saying differently. Thank you very much, Lucky Kratos, for subscribing on the YouTube side. You'll get a notification every time we go live with spoiler warning, as well as our PLE Wednesday and WTF Wrestling series. Hopefully you can enjoy those as well. And if not, just don't watch the first few and YouTube will stop suggesting them. A wonderful, wonderful system that they've got. King Azza has Logan Paul. Aled has Logan Paul. Lucky has Logan Paul 100%. Khalid has Randy Orton. It's my case as Logan Paul and I hate myself for saying it. Selvig says, I still see Logan retaining, but I won't be surprised if Randy wins. Trekopedia has Orton, but Logan wins it back and then can face Knight at SummerSlam. Taylor says, no way Logan goes over Randy clean if he does win. Triple threat, nothing's going to be clean. And one says, I'll say Randy too. Crush has Logan Paul, keeps the title until SummerSlam, where he drops to LA Knight. FDR says, Logan for sure, Prime is sponsoring. That would be a massive conflict of interest, but also not an impossibility, let's be fair. Roger says, are you interested in LA Knight versus AJ Styles build up a match at WrestleMania? Nope. It's the least interested I've been in an AJ Styles match, I think, in the entire time he's been wrestling. Roger also has Orton winning. The final match that I want to cover then is the main event of WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. I've mentioned it before, I'll mention it one last time. Cody Rhodes stands tall, the new undisputed WWE champion. Meanwhile, The Rock is furious with Roman Reigns. Lucky has Roman, King Other has Roman as well. Definitely some disagreements on this one. Uh, Sovic, I, I, I don't know why that one would happen personally. Lucas has Jake Paul helping Logan. Kelly says Cody Rhodes will finish the story. Taylor says he has to go over after an insane banger. Roman Reigns matches historically not the most fun lately. 
Crush has Cody. Blue says, Cody, for the love of the maker, please. Aleph says, I think Roman retains. And Sovic says, Cody Rhodes will finish the story. Trekopedia says, Cody wins. Roman shakes Cody's hand and Rock leads Bloodline in a beatdown on Roman. I don't see all of that happening at once. Lucky has new members debuting. One has Cody. Marcel has Cody. Spider-Boss says, I see Roman winning with some outside interference. FDL says, hard to say, especially after last year's Mania finish. It's McKay says, Cody, but I'm torn. And Roger preferred AJ Styles not in WWE. Billy says, Roman, story's over. If Roman wins, people are just going to say, you have to finish the story next year, blah, blah, blah. Lucky says, Rock ain't turning on Roman. I don't know what people are why people are thinking that. If anything, Roman is turning on Rock. Ale doesn't care about Cody or his stupid story. Roger has Cody. Chris says Roman will get a rematch. Steve says, will Kai show Bailey what happens when you... Fluff? There's an F in the wrong place there, mate. With the final boss. And that wraps up our spoiler section on the results planned for the WWE WrestleMania 40 event. With that in mind, we are at this point going to wrap up. We've got a 511 views. We peaked at over 100 people here, which is a very nice place to be. 106 in total. And that's a great place to be. At this point, I'm going to wrap up saying a massive thank you to all of you. I've been Tom Collihue. You've been fantastic. And I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>